The shootings have led to questions and controversies across the country. So this morning, Houston police offers a chance, offered a chance to learn firsthand how difficult an officer's job can be. Here's Kevin Reese. All right, whenever you're ready. Why not? Houston City Councilman Ed Gonzalez has fired a taser before. He's a former police officer. Sometimes you got to tase him a second time. Absolutely. But the rest of this crowd get back, get back. found it tough going. In fact, the NAACP Houston executive director was asked to take part in an electronic gunfight, and she lost. That's that right there. That's him. Hold up. Hold up. What's up? Go, sir, sir. Go, wow, what's going on? What's the the bad guy fired first. It was an eye opener. The the quickness of how everything happens and the and what the officers experience. Both perspectives, you know, what's going on in the community, what are the concerns and the fears, and at the same time, what a difficult job it is and the extensive training that goes into law enforcement. The training session was a chance for community leaders to learn in a few minutes what cadets and officers spend months trying to refine and how much thought we put into our scenarios and how much we train and how much we try to get them to understand how this high stress situation feels. High stress situations that have led to protests and controversies after real shootings across the country. A difficult job that HPD hopes after this morning, a few more people understand. It happens quick then. Yes, very yeah. quick. At the HPD Training Academy, Kevin Reese, KHOU, 11 News.